In this video, you will learn how to publish an Android APK file to the Amazon App Store. So the first thing you want to do is go to developer.amazon.com and you want to create an account or sign in. And I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in with this account. And there's four different options here. Uh, you're going to click on Amazon App Store and that's going to take you to the App Store Developer Council. So if you do not have already have an account, just click uh, click create developer account and it should allow you to create your account right here but since I already have my account I'm just gonna go directly to the developer console which is located in the right corner of the screen so I'm gonna click on that and there are a bunch of different things here you can program skills for Alexa uh, work on stuff for Amazon Dash or other services but we're gonna work on this Amazon App Store here and how this developer console works is uh, there's able, you're able to add an Android app or a mobile web app. So what we're going to do is Android, add an Android APK file that we made in Android Studio. And there's two different things you can view here. It's your, it's your app list, and I'm just going to open that and show you what that is. This is going to show you all of your apps um, all currently on the store. And this one is your analytics and how many downloads your app is and how they're performing. So if you click on new, add new app, uh, this is the process of taking you through creating a new app. So you're going to click Android here and it's going to allow you to firstly put your app title. So you're going to call it whatever your app is. Currently I'm going to publish my Chimp Memory Game to the App Store. So I'm going to say Chimp Memory Game. And this is the SKU. You don't really need a SKU but I'm just going to call it Chimp. It's just for your own developer console to identify it. and um, it, the app category would be games and you can add a subcategory as well and I will add brain and puzzle so the app features I would say it is a casual game and that's pretty much it and all of your customer support email address and phone numbers and website that will all be default from when you create your developer account and it will just import the information from there so now that you've created uh, this app SKU and this new submission, we're going to use click save and it should allow you to start putting in some details. This screen will allow you to see the details that you've already put in, such as the name, uh, some of the API keys that it generates for you, and the support email. And you can click edit if you want to change these, but I already like how they are, so I'm going to move on to the next step, which is availability and pricing. So here's where you're able to set some of the things that are very important, such as where you'd like this to be available. So I'm just going to say in all countries and regions and it's going to be a free app so I'm going to select that and if you want a paid app then you can select this and select the price of it and uh, but we're going to keep it free for now and what we're going to do is this thing is where you want to actually start publishing. So if you want to start publishing on a specific date and you want to roll out on a specific date, it's important to put this here. But I, if you want to leave it blank, that means it's just going to publish right as they approve it. So I'm just going to do that and click save. And now it should take you to this third step which is description and here is where you'll add all the information about your app so uh, firstly it needs the name of the app which I already have there now I'm going to add a short description which is a brief description of your app um, that kind of promos your app so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull up my folder with all my assets here and I have an app listing .txt, uh, right here and basically inside this text document I'm going to uh, I have my short listing right here so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here and you can type it out and I'll paste in my long listing so I'm going to copy that as well and paste that and just a description a, lo a lengthier description of your app for the App Store website so now uh, here is where you'll actually be able to uh, add some bullets about just key features so I'm just you're gonna separate it with a, uh, a line so uh, I'm basically gonna type in memory test chimp uh, memory or I, so memory test I mean, it's, it's just features right so it's gonna be uh, memory uh, like a chimp something similar uh, it doesn't have to be too unique it just some features that people look at when they're actually downloading the app. So I'm just going to write um, tr 
train your memory and uh, I'm just gonna do one more just gonna be uh, build your numerical and visual memory skills there and that's gonna allow you to just give users like a quick synopsis of what your app is like so now the keyword is just gonna be some simple search terms that will increase the discoverability of your app when people look for it. So I'm just going to type in a memory game and you're going to use a comma to se separate them. Uh, actually they can't be two words so you have to do memory, game, um, let's do a chimp, memory, or, uh, I, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, maybe, maybe numerical and visual some good keywords there okay and click save pretty much all you have to do for this step and there we go uh, it should give you a synopsis of what you've done you can edit it later on if you want but we're gonna move on to images and multimedia so here you'll add uh, your icons screenshots and promotional images and a video if you have one so the first thing is your icon so you're gonna need a big icon and a small icon here so you're going to need to upload two icons here. You're going to need a big one, which is 512 by 512, and a little one, which is 114 by 114. You can edit them in whatever uh, editing software you like, Canva, Photoshop, um, and create those icons. So I have them in my folder right here, in my asset folder. So I'm just going to drag and drop them into here. So I have my large icon, which is 512 by 512. And I have my small icon, which is 114 by 114. So now you're gonna be able to upload your screenshots in this second column. And you need to follow these sizing formats. They can be 800 by 400, 1040, or 24 by 600, and there's a ton of different options. It can be portrait or landscape, but it needs to follow that sizing thing. So I have them sized right here, made them in a uh, editing software. So I'm going to copy all, or drag and drop all of these into here. Uh, there's a minimum of three, maximum of ten, so I have four screenshots here that display my app. And yeah, and now I'm going to add a promotional image here. So uh, it needs to be 1024 by 500. And if you've uploaded your app to Google Play like I have, uh, that's the same exact promotional size as that. So you can just reuse that if you, are, if you have that. So if not, you need to create that in your software. So uh, I'm going to drag and drop that there and that should upload there. Now, you can upload a video as well, which will uh, further enhance the app itself when people are looking for it. So it needs to be obviously 720 to 1080p X, and it needs to be 16 by nine or four by three. So uh, I have my video over here, and I'm just gonna drag and drop it there. And now you can add Fire TV assets um, only if you're require if you're targeting Fire TV devices. This is just targeting like Kindles or uh, Amazon phones or stuff like that. So I'm not really going to be using that. And that's pretty much it for this screen. So I'm going to click Save. And now you need to go to the content rating. Here's where you. It's pretty similar to if you've post your app to Google Play Store and Amazon App Store like, like I have. Uh, it's pretty similar to that. You just need to con rate your content, uh, whatever it has. So violence uh, has none, cartoon violence none, 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 none. Uh, it's not academic, no profanity. Um, it needs to be target audience of uh, for these, for 0 to 12 and 13 to 15, you need a privacy policy um, as well. But uh, it, 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 but I'm just going to select 16, 17, um, and 18 plus of age. Um, it needs to it, just click no here, no, no for all of these. Uh, no advertisements currently. I will be adding advertisements later just for uh, future references. So you can always change this stuff later. but. Uh, you need to add a privacy policy if you need one. Mine does not collect any data, so I will not be adding one. But uh, you need to click save here, and this should create a content rating for you, and you should be good to go. And finally, you need to add your APK file. And 
this is where you need Android Studio to generate uh, an APK file after you make your app and video link will be posted in the right corner as well as in the description for that but it's a really simple process for doing that but you need to actually go uh, to your Android Studio and extract that but I have it in my uh, assets folder right here so I'm just going to drag and drop it into here and it should upload it pretty well and now I'm just going to do language support all I have is English so testing instructions uh, that's just some special instructions for Amazon developer team to actually test your app out and make sure it doesn't have any issues or uh, just make this process of uh, reviewing your app a little faster so I'm just gonna say um, click on the numbers sorry about the spelling to advance to new levels all right and you need to do the export compliance make sure you select that box and uh, just select this because it does not support the Google Maps API so now you want to click Save and you should pretty much be done with everything now um, a 222 plus supported devices really good and now that you've done this you can click submit app uh, it's the final step and there we go we have it submitted and successfully submitted on uh, February 13th 2021 and this is very good because now uh, it will take around two or three days uh, last time I took around four to five but depends on when you submit it and when the developers are free and we can just look at one other one I made just for reference here so uh, reaction speed builder is on iOS Android and Amazon uh, and basically I didn't uh, submit a video for this but it has all my screenshots here and shows that you can download it from here uh, just developer information product features goes here product description goes here and any reviews here as well so that's pretty much it and that's how you submit an Android app to the Amazon App Store